Alright, it's time for another quick tip for the ventures off, and today we're gonna be talking about snapping. Why is it useful, and how to switch it on and off when it's annoying you, but you still want to do that. Let's take a look. Alright, so today we're taking a quick look on how to use snapping. And the quick shortcut for enabling and disabling the snapping is the letter N. So if I enable it, what this does is when I move the playhead, it snaps into cuts, it snaps into places. And that's very useful if I want to now, for example, make cuts exactly in the same place that I have another one, or so. Or if I move clips to place them exactly where another clip ends or where the other clip begins. So this is the usefulness of the snapping. When snapping gets a bit annoying, in my opinion, is when you're trying to have some control on precision, but then you have a lot of cuts in the place where you wouldn't actually to make your change. So let's say that I want to place the end of this clip in the middle of this one. Now I have snapping enabled. If I try to do this, I just actually can't because the middle is too close to both end and start. So we will always snap to either one of them. Of course, if I just disable the snapping, now I can place this wherever I want and problem solved. However, let me give you another quick tip. Let's say that you have the snapping turned on you start moving this thing, you start moving the end of the clip, this starts to annoy you. If now I press N, snapping gets disabled. And now I can place this wherever I want without the snap activated. And the cool thing is that if I now release this, snapping is activated once again. So basically, if you are dragging something and then you activate or deactivate the snapping, that action is only valid for the duration of that placing of the tool. And then once you release the handle, the previous state of the snapping will come again. Now I did it from snapping it's on and it's annoying me and I want to take it away, but it works also in the opposite. Now I disable snapping, I start to move this like, oh, now I really, really wanted to snap there in the between. So let's turn snapping on, I snap here, I release, and once again, the snapping is disabled. And that's all for today a couple of quick tips about snapping in DaVinci Resolve. Well, we're done for today. If you liked the video or find it useful, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you would like to know something else from DaVinci Resolve. Let's see if we can make it into a quick tip. And we'll see you soon for some more content.